two things you can do to fix that laggy stream. If you like what you see and you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. It'll massively help me out. You can also catch me live on stream on my Facebook page. The link is in the description below. Stop by and say hi. So the first thing you want to do is you want to ensure that you right click on your OBS file and run as administrator. What this does is that it puts priority on your computer and allows the computer to send resources, the adequate resources to OBS, allowing it to correctly render and encode your frames needed for the stream. What was happening before is if you have an encoding lag or rendering lag is that all the resources and allocation were pushed elsewhere to your game to make your game look glorious, make your game look beautiful. And it wasn't given OBS enough to encode, render and output at the same time. It's absolutely fine. NVENC in the NVIDIA cards is very, very good. And if I was to recommend any sort of GPU card for a streamer, especially a single PC streamer, I would recommend an NVIDIA card just because of how good the NVENC or the NVIDIA encoder is. So what I was finding was that in my computer, I've got an i9 9900K an RTX 2080 Ti. So I should have no problem rendering a game and streaming on the same PC. I shouldn't, but what I was getting was a lot of drop frames in my stream, not in my game, but in my stream. And it was really looking choppy and awful. It was really horrible to watch. I just couldn't put a finger on it. I was asking around on Reddit. I was asking people in Discord channels. I was looking at YouTube. I was scouring YouTube for a while. And I had some people saying, turn your graphic settings onto low, uh, drop my, my bit rate down to two and a half thousand. And all these things that you shouldn't really expect when you plug in money into a stream a setup or a bit of PC setup, you expect it to deliver. Now running it as administrator, will allow the computer to accurately allocate the resources to OBS, leaving you more than enough room for your game as well. It just gives it enough um, to, to make sure that you have a, a smoother stream. If you're not running parts that are as powerful as an i9 9900K or an RTX 2080 Ti, it will, this will still massively benefit you. It allows your computer to, to allocate the, the, you know, the required um, resources run it via administrator first. So we've set up, we've run OBS Studio or Streamlabs as an administrator. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna press Control, Shift and Escape to bring up our task manager, okay? The reason why we do this is we need to go into details, go down into the o OBS 64EXE file, right click and change the priority. Now, mine's set to high because I've set mine high manually. And you might have to keep doing this every restart. It's fine. Just remember, every time you open OBS as administrator, you then go into this and set it as high. This will again, just reinforce and tell your computer that you need the maximum resources. You need to give OBS what it needs for it to deliver a seamless and smooth stream. So set this to high. Voila, that's it. Those two things, chat. Those two things, guys. They will absolutely change the look of your output of your stream. Okay, so we've run OBS or Streamlabs or OBS Studio as an administrator, and then we've changed in the task manager, the priorities are high, and we still want to, we could, we could still tweak it that bit further to make it that little bit more smoother or less strenuous on your PC. Again, we always can refer back down to our stats, and the stats will show us how much strain our CPU and our GPU are under. Um, but the one thing we, we can look at now is if we go into the output, Make sure you are, you are using the NVIDIA NVENC if you are using an NVIDIA GPU and enforce the streamer service encoder settings. What you may find is if you want a mid to low tier PC to rescale the output into a 720p stream. Now, the reason why I say this, I ran a 720p stream even on my 2080 Ti for the longest of times because it still looks fantastic and viewers would rather a smoother, more enjoyable and cleaner transition of a stream than a higher resolution, uh, choppier, laggy stream. Also, it allows more people to watch for a start because A, people could be out, out and about watching a stream 
and if they're in a low uh, internet area coverage, they haven't got a buffer of 1080p video. So I would always recommend streaming in 720p. That's just me though. I, I, I think it's a fantastic resolution for streaming, especially for small streamers like us, because with every little bit of, every little thing we can do to make the stream more enjoyable and more smooth, uh, or smoother for the, the viewer, the better, because viewers, as we know, are precious. We want them, we need them, and we want them to stay. Okay, so you got to do everything you can to make the viewers stay. Rate control, I do CBR, which is constant bit rate. Um, it, I've done a bit of research on this. It just allows the bit rate not to fluctuate high or low. If it fluctuates too much from high to low, you can see sort of stuttering in the stream, or you can see like pixelated bits in the corner. So I always recommend using CBR for rate control. And a bit rate, I would keep between uh, four and a half and seven thousand kbps i ran a 720p stream 60 fps on 3500 kbps and it was absolutely fine viewers were in and they saw it It was nice and fluid i could watch it back with ease it wasn't choppy it was great you know so don't worry too much about the bit rate if your frames are dropping due to network lag then you would need to drop this bit rate down until you get that network lag down and that's it. That's all the settings you really need to change. Um, there's nothing else to it. Just remember that you need to set OBS and to run as administrator. Go to task manager, change the, the, in the details tab, change uh, the priority to high and uh, make sure that you are running the NVENC if you are using an NVIDIA card and you've got a CBR uh, rate control. And you should be absolutely fine. Let me know if this abs if, if this worked for you. If it has worked for you, please leave a like. Please hit that subscribe. Again, I do stream on Facebook three times a week. If you want to stop by and ask me questions live in the stream, you can. It's great. Uh, the link is in the description below. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope this has helped. It helped me massively. And I felt like there wasn't enough out there on YouTube. So I hope this has helped you. If, if it has, leave a comment in the description below or leave the comments below. And yeah, uh, hope that helped.